Yeah, what's up, y'all? This is the self-proclaimed Don of Rap Mac Don the Fifth. You know, everybody's commenting on Jay-Z's album, so I said, fuck it, I'm going to comment too. You know what I'm saying? Put my two cents in. First of all, I want to say that Jay-Z's album, I think, is a great album. Straight up and down. The shit is a great album. Why? Because, like I heard a couple of other artists say, it's intelligent. It's setting trends. It doesn't sound like nothing that was ever done. You know, from the videos, the way he's shooting videos. You know what I'm saying? I think he went platinum in a week or four hours or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's something that you should salute. You know what I'm saying? That's something that you should be proud of. And, you know, people are taking shots at them. You know what I'm saying? And making comments. But my thing is this, right? And I always said, advocated for this. The best rappers are the older rappers. And I don't give a fuck who don't agree with that shit. All right? And I'm going to make sense to you right now. Right? If you having a surgery, right? Who is best for you to operate on you? A seasoned doctor or an intern? Go figure. On some real shit. If you're going to get taught or you want to learn something, who is best to teach you? First of all, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, what they what are they rapping about? I'm and I'm I'm not hating on young niggas, it's just the way it is. When I was 19, an older nigga took my bitch. When I was 17, an older nigga took my bitch. You know why? Because I was a young, handsome dude, but I ain't have shit. And here come an older, handsome nigga who had shit. Chicks are impressionable. So she went with him. That's the way life is, man. You know what I'm saying? Jay is keeping hip-hop going. He's talking about shit that he did. He's talking about shit that he accomplished. And it's always supposed to be a progression. You know what I'm saying? Hip-hop is supposed to be a progression. You know what I'm saying? I heard Rakim say that there's older niggas who still love hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? They don't hate on them rock and roll niggas. Them rock and roll niggas, them niggas be doing concerts and making albums till they drop dead. You know what I'm saying? So, hip-hop is the same way. I'm a rap until I die. Straight up and down. If I love doing something when I'm a young, I'm going to love doing it when I'm old. And that's being a real nigga. If you were doing something when you was young that was positive and you drop it when you get older, you ain't real. You a fake-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? That means you were just following suit. You were just doing shit because you jumped on the bandwagon or you thought it was cool to do at the time, but when you got older, you started hating on the own shit that got you where you going. Nigga, for the record, we ain't never gonna stop rapping. We gonna drop dead rapping, nigga. And that's just the way it is. Big up to Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing, man. You know, he survived that ether shit. He survived a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was doing it. I, I give the nigga mad respect and you know what I'm saying? He's a type of person that you can look, look up to and win in different levels. If you want to look at business, you could check him out. Rapping, check him out. Even his family life, you know what I'm saying? I, I love the way he keeps his family together, man. You know what I'm saying? And as far as cheating, a nigga going to get another piece of pussy. I don't give a fuck. How good you are, how fine your bitch is, how a nigga's gonna get another piece of pussy. I spent he's rich. So, you know what I'm saying? The nigga's very, very wealthy. So if he just fucking Beyonce, that shit wouldn't be real to me. Peace.